Heard you made the wine from water You raised the dead to life with a simple word They marvel at your signs and your wonders They thought that you had died but you saved the world Like a fire come and fall again Cause you know my body's broken You know my eyes can't see You know I'm looking for a miracle So why not here, why not me Even when it all seems hopeless Even though we don't know how Lord we believe why not here? Why not now? Caught a sinful man who walked on water. You caught the wind and waves with just your hand. Show the orphan there's a father. Your love. It's better than I'll understand I don't have to wait till I see you Cause I know my faith can bring the heavens down Cause you know my body's broken You know my eyes can't see You know I'm looking for a miracle so why not here, why not me, even when it all seems hopeless, even though we don't know how, Lord, we're believing for a miracle, so why not here, why not now? Start talking, see the lame start walking, walking through the darkest night, shining out cause you bring the light. I wanna see the closed doors open, to see the left out chosen, chosen from the start of time. About time you let faith arise, I wanna see the mute start talking. Walking through the darkest night Shining out cause you bring the light I wanna see the closed doors open To see the left out chosen Chosen from the start of time Shining out cause you bring the light So let faith arise So let faith arise So let faith arise My body's broken You know my eyes can't see You know I'm looking for a miracle So why not here? Why not me? You can win it all seems hopeless Even when we don't know how Lord, we're believing for a miracle So why not here? Why not now? Hey Pennsylvania, my name is Ian Guido and that was Taylor Thompson leading us in worship and we have the privilege to serve at Journey Church in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Today I'd like to share a thought out of the book of Nehemiah as we've been going through this pandemic. I feel like God has been leading me towards Nehemiah, and that's because there's so many things about that story that I love. I feel Nehemiah was called by God to go take care of an impossible task. And as he went to go inspect this task that God sent him on, he seen how extensive the work was and how hard it's going to be to rebuild that wall. And then he, he ends up talking to the people in that city, and he rallies them together to become a part of that. And they were excited to do that. And then they faced adversity, and they, they uh, worked with tools and 
in one hand and fought uh, with weapons in the other, ready and prepared. And towards the end of the story, all God's people and the people who had left God's home have come back. And I, I find us, uh, or I find myself feeling like Nehemiah because we're in this pandemic and the whole world right now is full of fear uh, and they're hopeless. And here we are. We've been praying all these years for a revival and we've been praying for God to use us. And we've been praying to, to be used to heal those uh, who are hurting. And we have that opportunity now. What a great time to be a part of. So I want to encourage us to continue fighting like we've been for, for years and give the people the hope of Jesus that we have. Let's, let's go out uh, and reach those who feel far from Christ and bring God's people back home. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this opportunity that you've given us, Lord. Thank you for uh, everything that you're doing, doing Lord. Please give us the, the tools and uh, the words and everything that we are going to need to be used by you, God, to reach the people who feel far from you, Lord. We love you and we thank you that you chose us to be part of this time in history, God. Thank you and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.